Antiseptic, Wikipedia article audio. Antiseptics and S. P. T. Septicos, putrefactive are antimicrobial substances that are applied to living tissue slash skin to reduce the possibility of infection, sepsis, or putrefaction. Antiseptics are generally distinguished from antibiotics by the latter's ability to be transported through the lymphatic system to destroy bacteria within the body, and from disinfectants, which destroy microorganisms found on non-living objects. Some antiseptics are true germicides, capable of destroying microbes, while others are bacteriostatic and only prevent or inhibit their growth. Surgery Some common antiseptics Antibacterials are antiseptics that have the proven ability to act against bacteria. Microbicides which destroy virus particles are called viricides or antivirals. The widespread introduction of antiseptic surgical methods followed the publishing of the paper Antiseptic Principle of the Practice of Surgery in 1867 by Joseph Lister, inspired by Louis Pasteur's germ theory of putrefaction. In this paper, Lister advocated the use of carbolic acid as a method of ensuring that any germs present were killed. Some of this work was anticipated by By continued exposure to antibiotics, bacteria may evolve to the point where they are no longer harmed by these compounds. Bacteria can also develop a resistance to antiseptics, but the effect is generally less pronounced. The mechanism by which bacteria evolve may vary in response to different antiseptics. Low concentrations of an antiseptic may encourage growth of a bacterial strain that is resistant to the antiseptic, where a higher concentration of the antiseptic would simply kill the bacteria. In addition, use of an excessively high concentration of an antiseptic may cause tissue damage or slow the process of wound healing. Consequently, Antiseptics are most effective when used at the correct concentration a high enough concentration to kill harmful bacteria, fungi, or viruses, but a low enough concentration to avoid damage to the tissue. Evolved Resistance Notes Ancient Greek physicians Galen and Hippocrates and Sumerian clay tablets dating from 2150 BC that advocate the use of similar techniques, medieval surgeons Hugh of Lucca, Theodoric of Servia, and his pupil Henri de Montville were opponents of Galen's opinion that pus was important to healing, which had led ancient and medieval surgeons to let pus remain in wounds. They advocated draining and cleaning wound lips with wine, dressing the wound after suturing it if necessary, and leaving the dressing on for ten days, soaking it in warm wine all the while, before changing it. Their theories were bitterly opposed by Galenist Guy de Choliac and others trained in the classical tradition, Oliver Wendell Holmes, Sr., who published The Contagiousness of Puerperal Fever in 1843, Florence Nightingale, who contributed substantially to the report on the Royal Commission on the Health of the Army, based on her earlier work, Ignis Semmelweis, who published his work The Cause, Concept, and Prophylaxis of Childbed Fever in 1861, Summarizing Experiments and Observations Since 1847